Hey buds, you likely know what a honeybee is and that it makes wax and honey. But have you heard of bee glue or propolis? Stay tuned to learn what it is and how we are going to make ourselves medicinal candies with it. Humans have actually been using propolis for thousands of years for its medicinal properties. And the word comes from Greek with pro meaning defense and polis meaning city or community. Essentially, it is a substance that the bees make, mainly from tree resin, for the purpose of hive maintenance. Uh, the main task that they like to do with it is to seal cracks and holes in the beehive. Uh, and it will vary in its makeup depending on the location of the bees and what kinds of trees and flowers they have access to. And you'll also find that it can vary in color from yellow-green to red to dark brown, depending on the source and age. Now bees are actually quite particular about their spaces and they try to fill just about every nook and cranny with either wax comb or propolis. And from the beekeeper end of things, it is considered a good practice to kind of tidy up and clean um, the tops of the frames and in the, the hive so that you can move around more easily. And that is where we got our collection from, our first year of raising bees. Propolis and its extracts have many potential applications in treating various diseases due to its ability to fight against bacteria, viruses, and fungi. Researchers have identified more than 300 compounds in propolis. The majority of these are polyphenols, antioxidant compounds that fight disease and damage in the body. Research is limited, but there is evidence that propolis may be effective in helping with blood sugar control for those with diabetes, and that it may help to treat sores or swelling of the mouth. Propolis also contains important vitamins such as vitamins B1, B2, B6, C, and E, and useful minerals such as magnesium, calcium, potassium, sodium, copper, zinc, manganese, and iron. You will commonly find propolis in chewing gum, cosmetics, creams, lozenges, and ointments. Cautions. Propolis may interact with medications, particularly those that break down in the liver or blood thinners. People with allergies to bees should also be cautious when using bee-produced products. It is always a good idea to include health professionals when taking new medicines. Honestly, just giving the jar a good huff feels good for a person, and it has a really nice spicy, foresty aroma with just a hint of that pleasant beeswax smell. Which makes sense, because it is made up about 50% of resin, 30% beeswax, 10% essential oils, and 10% magic. <laughs> and we're going to capture a little bit of that goodness by making some propolis throat lozenges together. So first we need to make a tincture which is a way to extract medicinal compounds. In this case, we are using an alcohol as our solvent because alcohol is effective at extracting resins. For our tincture, we weighed out 30 grams of propolis and added 70 grams of vodka. If you have access to higher proof alcohols, they are recommended. It is important to do your measurements by weight and not volume. If you don't have access to propolis, you can buy the tinctures through stores. Then we set the jar in a safe space and shook it regularly for two weeks. All right, so now we're going to strain our tincture through this little reusable bag. And any bits you can reuse, I'm told. So. And using a little funnel, we will add it to this bottle with the dropper so that we can more effectively add it to our recipe. <laughs> and try not to spill it. So in a pot, we're going to combine 255 grams or about three quarter cup of honey with three quarters of a cup of water. And one teaspoon of minced ginger. And then we're going to warm that up on medium heat until it reaches 300 degrees. 
So you probably want to use a candy thermometer. I'm going to be trying this one out because it is an alarm, so hopefully I will not miss when it gets to 300. Uh, and if you don't have the thermometer, you can test it in cold water, and when it hardens the second it hits the water, then it should be ready. We were looking for that hard crack stage, I believe they call it. So that's what we're going for, and you want it to be a boiling mixture. Just be careful because it's very hot. And when it hits 300, remove from the heat and let it cool until it starts to thicken. All right, now that it's cooling down and kind of syrupy, we're gonna add a half teaspoon of cinnamon tincture or extract, if that's what you got. and 10 drops of our propolis tincture. Give that a stir to mix it in. And then we will spoon it onto either a parchment sheet or parchment paper lined sheet, or you can try molds if you have them. So we're going to try these candy molds here. Once they've hardened, you can take your candies and dust them in a bit of icing sugar or cornstarch so that they don't stick together and then store them in an airtight container. Do you use propolis for your health? We'd love to hear about it in the comments below. Join us next time for more food, foraging, and fun. You've probably heard of a honeybee and you know that it makes bee the it makes bee. It makes more bees. <laughs>